Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, a developer evangelist for Adobe. Here at South by Southwest, we've been talking about how designers and developers can create multi-screen applications. One of the key things to be able to do with multi-screen is deploy on multiple operating systems. So I want to show you a feature the team for Flash Pro has been working on to enable you to deploy native Android applications using Flash Professional. So here I've got my mobile application set to 480 by 800, kind of the typical Android smartphone resolution. And I want to walk you through what we have set up so that you can publish this to the Android marketplace. So let me go ahead and do a File, Publish Settings. And in previous versions of Flash Professional, we had iOS support. So you'll see Air for iOS is still there. But we also now have a selection option for Air for Android. So if I go to the Publish Settings here on Air for Android, you'll see something that looks very similar to what we had for the iPhone. I can set my general deployment settings for the file output, for the app ID and the app name, included files in the package. And then on the Permissions tab, uh, Android requires you to actually ask for permissions up front. So here I can just click the permissions that I want to use or the features of the device that my application is going to leverage. So in this case, I want to make sure that I have access to the internet. I want to make sure that I have access to find location, course location, and the camera. So as I check those, it's going to package those into my application descriptor file so that when I install the application, it'll list these permissions as being the ones that my application is requesting. I can also specify icons, just like I can in the iOS version. So my icon will show up on the home screen if I want to customize it. And then in the Deployment tab, we've created a nice wizard so that you can get up and running very quickly. So we can have an option here where you can create a certificate yourself. Every Android application has to be signed. So we can go through and create our own self-signed certificate. So I'll do Publisher is Ryan Stewart, Adobe, Adobe, my country is US, give myself a password, confirm it. I can set the validity period, so make sure we can be on the Android marketplace. And then I can save the certificate in my certificates directory so I can use it later. Uh, and we'll call this one Android Cert. So that's saved. And now I have that certificate's being created by Flash Professional. There we go. So now I can type in the password, and I can use that to sign my application. And then I can also go ahead and deploy multiple types of this application to my device. If I want to do an emulator release, something that I'm going to test inside the emulator, I can do that. I can do a debug version so that I can actually set trace statements and breakpoints and debug on right on the device, which is kind of handy. Or I can go ahead and do a device release. So we're going to take out all the debugging information and make sure that the application we deploy is optimized for Android. I can also choose to install the application if it's connected and launch the application after we've installed it so you can be up and running very, very quickly. So I'll go ahead and click Publish, and it'll export my .apk file, my native Android file, and I can install that on the phone. That's fine. And I've actually got that running here on my device. So here's my application. We can uh, click through and, and check out some of the features, some of the different exercises we can do. I'll go through there. We can load the map. And so you can see we now have the native Android experience using Flash Pro skills.